agriculture is changing its rules on livestock movement in light of the spread of bird flu. KCRG TV 9's Libby Randall talked with several people on this update and joins us now live. Libby. That's right, starting Monday, dairy cows being transported between states must now be tested for avian influenza, also known as bird flu. While this only impacts a certain amount of farmers, others are still prepared to take action among their livestock if slash when this disease spreads to other animals. For some reason, this avian influenza jumped over to cattle. Less than a month ago, the USDA announced bird flu had been found among dairy cows in several states. Now they are tightening the restrictions on taking those livestock over state lines. They'll have to be uh, tested by uh, your veterinarian to make sure that they're negative before the, uh, before the cat animals move out of state. While it hasn't impacted other cattle, experts are advising all farmers to monitor their livestock. Since we think that one of the way this might be spread is through a migratory birds, uh, to try as best you can to control the, the birds and the, that are coming on your farms. With the new requirement from the USDA, one local farmer is keeping an even closer eye on his cows. Step number one is definitely to educate yourself, uh, learn what the impacts are, learn what signs to look for, and then obviously the close second step is to watch for those signs. Swenka says he has his livestock routinely checked by a veterinarian regardless. As he prepares to send his bulls over state lines, he knows scheduling for that could change quickly and alter his schedule. If need be, it could add extra time and money to an otherwise manageable checkup. Naturally, as, as this thing unfolds and should this disease get worse, I'm sure there'll be updates and, and changes. But at this point, uh, I think the vet inspection is kind of what we need right now. Experts tell me this type of illness typically runs its course within a month. Therefore, it's best for farmers to keep an especially close eye on livestock as the disease can typically be asymptomatic initially. In studio, Libby Randall, KCRG TV 9 News.